another example, more of a sensory nature, uh, one of the coaches over at the University of North Carolina sent in one of their soccer athletes, young girl, she comes in complaining of excruciating hip pain. She said, Dr. Pascal, both my hips are killing me. I have terrible, terrible pain. I have no feeling on the side of one of my legs. And I'm like, wow, that, that's terrible. What, you know, what happened that could have caused that? And she explained to me that she's a goalie and she's always, you know, leaping to one side or the other and, and falling and slamming into her hips. And that that must be why she's had this terrible pain for two years. I said, really, are you sure? Because that seems like a, a, an awful lot of pain for something that most people do all the time. Are you sure there isn't anything else? There wasn't some other trauma or incident that occurred maybe a couple of years back just before your symptoms occurred. And she sat there on my table and thought a moment, and then she said, well, it could have been that shark bite. And I looked at her, and I was like, "Uh, shark bite? She goes, yeah. And she uh, lifts up the side of her her shorts, and on one of her thighs she has a massive C-shaped scar. And what had happened was she was surfing, and a uh, shark bit her and thankfully spit her out. And uh, once she thought about it, she realized that when she recovered from the surgery, her leg was numb, the entire part of her thigh was numb, and she had this unrelenting bilateral hip pain. So I took out a marker and I marked out the area of what she could feel, where she could feel, and where she couldn't feel. And then I gave her a, a quantum neurology session. And in that session, the degree of numbness, which was about the size of a football, was uh, complete, was reduced down to zero. She had complete restoration of all the feeling uh, on her thigh and all of her hip pain was gone. And I'll just share one more quick story. Uh, about a year and a half ago, a young lady came into my office, 17 years old, She was a runner. She came in with a hamstring issue. But during my examination, I noticed that one of her eyes was wandering, and I asked her what was going on with that. And she said, oh, my mother didn't tell you? And I said, no. And her mother's sitting in the room with us, so her mom relayed the following story, that her daughter was born three months premature. She weighed one pound. Her lungs were not developed, of course, And so they put her in an oxygen chamber, and the pure oxygen just damaged her eyes. And so since birth, she's been blind. And I said, well, what do you mean blind? She said, well, in my left eye, my vision is 2,400. Of course, 2,200 is legally blind. And her cardinal field of gaze, instead of being about 100 and degrees left and right and about 160 degrees up and down, she had 10 degrees from her nose to her pupil in her left eye and about 15 degrees up and down. So I quickly verified that during my examination and then I gave her one session, one quantum neurology session that probably took me 30, maybe 45 seconds. And when she opened her eyes, she started to cry. And I said, is something going on? And she cried a little bit harder. And so, you know, it's always disconcerting when you have a young person on your table sobbing. I said, "Uh, are you okay? And she looked at me and she said, I can see. I said, well, what, what do you mean? She said, I can see everything. And that one George Gonzalez quantum neurology treatment restored this young lady's vision who'd been blind her entire 17 years of life. And uh, i got to tell you, that's a, an amazing feeling to get to be in the room when something like that happens. So uh, I strongly encourage all of you that are listening in on this teleconference today to seek out Dr. Gonzalez and uh, learn quantum neurology. It, uh, you can go to the first 
seminar and walk into your office Monday morning and, and start applying it. And, uh, of course, if you have any questions, I and, and any of the other quantum neurologists would be, be glad to, to help in any way we can. All right, with that, I'm going to turn it back over to you, George. Wow, thank you so much, Dave. And, and uh, as always, we've been telling each other stories of the wonderful amazing healing available within the nervous system and it brings tears to my eyes every single time because these are medical miracles these are are and i define a medical miracle as something that would not have healed by conventional means okay something that would not have healed by conventional means i consider to be a medical miracle and when we see cases like this and we see the benefits that that come from strengthening the nervous system it's truly remarkable. Uh, we have a Dr. David Shum, who is a quantum neurologist. He's from Brownwood, Texas, and he's a recent quantum neurologist, and he found out about this work, and he took to it right away. He's a college minister, and he helps many, many people. Um, he, he travels the world educating people about uh, healing and, and different concepts, and it's, so I'm so excited to have him on the call here and uh, Dr. David Shum, are you there, please? Yes, I am. Thank you, George, so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm so excited about quantum neurology and what it's been doing uh, not only in, in my life but also in my patients' lives. Uh, I've been in practice for 20 years. Uh, I started in quantum neurology in 2009. I became a quantum neurologist in December of 2010. And quantum neurology absolutely revolutionized my practice. I was beginning to fill in the gaps and sometimes in the frustration that you have in care where you just think, I know there's more I can do for a patient. I just don't know what to do. And, and quantum neurology has filled in those gaps. So now instead of necessarily referring out to a medical neurologist, uh, as I was trying to do because I was just kind of grasping for things, quantum neurology now allows me to step in and make changes in my patients' lives. Most recently, my sister-in-law had a, a disc injury and ended up uh, about two weeks ago going through emergency um, a laminectomy. Um, she had started progressing into Pata equinus syndrome, and, and of course, we've been using quantum neurology on her uh, before, and she and her whole family, and, um, and she had just stepped off of a running board of her vehicle, just funny, and just hit funny, and that was just enough, apparently, just to, just to send that disc over the edge. Uh, she went in. The neurosurgeon, when we talked to him, said it was the world's largest herniated disc, um, he said that when he pulled it out, he says it was the size of a small cocktail shrimp, and it just popped out when he removed it. Um, she has uh, had similar uh, uh, similar symptoms to what Lori Gonzalez had. Uh, she had a saddle paresthesia. She had horrible foot pain. She had loss of motor. She had loss of sensory. She was unable to lie down straight. The pain was excruciating, and so... We immediately began utilizing the light on her. Um, even in, even we walked in, I just handed her mom the light. This is what we need to do. This is what we need to check. Here are some small things you can do. She came home three days later, and we started the, the myotome work out of Module 1. We started the uh, sensory work out of Module 2. started using central plexus rehabilitation, and um, the doctor had referred her to a physical therapist, uh, who was a personal friend of mine, the physical therapist said, uh, just told me, he says, I don't have much hope for her. She has no extension in her toes. Uh, 